2002 is suddenly everywhere. Government leaders are talking about it, industry executives are talking about it, and the press. And everybody's talking excitedly about cloud computing. Hi, I'm John Kamensky with the IBM Center for the Business of Government. I'd like to share with you a new report that explains in English just what is cloud computing. In this report, Dr. David Wilde examines both the interest in and technology surrounding cloud computing and why uh, there's su it's receiving such increased attention these days. So what is cloud computing? Well, it's an emerging concept. It has a lot of different names, and it has names like grid computing, and utility computing, and on-demand computing. Indeed, one of the hindrances to the adoption of cloud computing is the lack of understanding of what it is and what it isn't. The term cloud computing, at its core, has two core elements. First of all, computing services are delivered over the internet, and second of all, it's on demand, it's from remote location rather than uh, being on your desktop or your organization's um, servers or on mobile devices. It's basically everywhere. For an organization, this would mean for set use fee, it would contract with a provider to deliver applications, computing power, and storage all over the internet. In a nutshell, the basic idea of cloud computing is that computing will become both location and device independent. This enables computing tasks and information to be available anytime, anywhere, from any device, just as long as you have access to the internet. Now, CIOs report that they spend over 40% of their time and 60% of their budget delivering routine services to their organization. Now, these routine services are exactly what cloud computing can deliver cheaply and easily. So if CIOs can increase their reliance on cloud computing, they can then have more of their time and resources to focus on the strategic management of IT, adding value to their agencies. Now this report looks at specific case studies of how cloud computing is being used across the public sector. For example, projects going on in the General Services Administration, NASA, and the Defense Department. Dr. Wild examines 10 challenges facing government leaders as they work to integrate cloud computing offerings into their IT strategy. But he also offers migration strategies of how to get from where they are today to where they want to be in cloud computing. So you can learn more about these challenges and strategies by downloading the full report from the internet at businessofgovernment.org.